Welcome to the Art of Coaching Institute. I am a consultant, a coach. In one week, my next book is due to my publisher. I do workshops like this here and around the country. My work is about every child gets whatever he or she needs every day. Coaching is a reflective practice. It happens in conversation. I really want coaching conversations to feel like we're sitting on the same side of the table. As soon as there's a feeling of either debate or argument or something adversarial, if it's a coaching conversation, it's over at that point. And this is basically what we're gonna spend the next day and a half practicing. Listening first, thinking, responding. Let's hear a little bit from you about what came up in your conversation. Yes. Forever. The learners need to own the direction that the conversation is going in. You have a document in your packet called Listening to Your Own Listening. It has some columns. And go ahead and read through those. In the margin, you can put a little star by the ones that you know you sometimes take. Where does your mind go? You need to reflect back that you were hearing. It helps your mind sort and listen and process and not check out. So many of you may have heard these sentence stems before, been familiar with them. They are deceptively simple. They're really hard to master and to know when to use. And you're gonna take turns, each of you being the listener and the speaker. We're going to start exploring a couple of tools for step two, where you think about, you analyze what you've heard before you respond. You're gonna do two readings. The first one is gonna be a structured discussion. The second one will be unstructured. Start by reading the article, and then I will group you into trios and give you some instruction on how to go about the discussion. Tony is going to be a seventh grade social studies veteran teacher. You know, I've been doing things this way for a really long time. People who have done some coaching trainings have heard about this idea of mirroring. They're just all suggestions, and you need to think about whether it really works for that person. Because when I first heard that and started doing that and was working with people who were in heightened states of anxiety, it occurred to me right away that actually mirroring what they were doing was not useful. <laughs> that was not going to be helpful. I want to help someone think through all the whys, all the possibilities, so that when I'm not in the room, she can make the decisions herself. And these are decisions that will further the learning and achievement of every child every day. Coaching is a strategy for learning.